Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? Wow! Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Wow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds! Tragically, we're sure. A note from Mr. Krabs! <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait. I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. Hey, SpongeBob. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble-blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Don't forget, to defeat robots or tiki's that are directly above you, press this button. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find you? SpongeBob, 
This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Alrighty then, come back when you're ready to trade. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> You're in my life. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? Ow! Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Ow, oh, so ow, oh, did you ow, oh, find the ow, oh, King Jelly, ow, oh, fish, yet, ow. Oh. Hey, Squidward! Go away, Patrick, I'm waiting for SpongeBob. I can't believe I just said that. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? I wish I could bungee jump. Ow! Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Eh, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help! Huh? Oh, no! I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Here I come, Patrick! Hey, SpongeBob! Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks 
important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. How about the rest of that pedicure now, sir? What are you talking about? My feet are fine. Oh, Mermaid Man, you're like a big heroic prune. Prunes? What? Where? Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Now into the caves before all this being helpful gives me a headache. Now will you vaporize me? Once I'm back into the chum bucket, we'll talk. Plankton! Go away, SpongeBob, I'm plotting! Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes, sir, Mr. Krabs. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Aye, Mr. Krabs! What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that King Jellyfish! Sir, yes, sir! Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes? Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that King Jellyfish! Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure up, Mrs. Puff! Did you get the golden spatula back from the robots on the island yet? Oh, um, I think, well, uh, no. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Can I get a cookie? No. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Keep after them robots, SpongeBob. The Krusty Krab and your job depends on it. Bubble Buddy. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Oh, yeah. Nicely done, little yellow friend. Hey there. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Keep trying, SpongeBob. I have faith in you. See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, uh, what if I just gave you this? This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Oh, great! Now my life is complete! SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom! We have to evacuate! 
All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Without steering wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them for me in downtown Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob, we need those steering wheels. Now hurry! This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? You'll have to open this door from the inside. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Get Sandy, head to Smokestack's door. Check. Meow. Hey, Gary. Meow. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That bear antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops. Oh, thank you. I can finally watch those reruns of the Rockfish Files. I don't know how I've lived this long without good reception. Thank you again. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. Hey there, SpongeBob. Bubble Buddy. Hey there, Sandy. Howdy, Bubble Buddy. Ah, there you are, boy. Someone's broken the Sea Needle. That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money. 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 Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them, I shall. You've got a deal. Smash all the tiki's, and for your troubles, I'll give you a golden spatula. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. 
there's more golden spatulas in the deep blue sea. Be on the lookout. Ahoy there, Sandy. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. There have to be some non-student drivers around here. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no, everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and shoot the light out to the big reflector on the island. When the light is pointed at the island, go there and turn the last reflector. Hello, lady. Hi, Patrick. Uh, have you seen SpongeBob? If you see him, let him know I'm looking for him. <laughs> sure thing, lady. Oh, no. The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. My hero, you saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Thank goodness the children are safe. Hello there, Patrick. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top! If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town III, and Fort Patty Town III would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. There's a golden spatula at the top of the sandcastle. Well done, SpongeBob. So, what are you supposed to be? I'm a starfish. What are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's imagination. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, Gary. What's new? Ow! You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Wow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave! Wow! There's a golden spatula at the end of this cave? Thanks, Gary! Wow! 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 Hey, Gary! SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Get rid of the robot in the ticket booth and I'll give you a reward. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. 
Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. When you've destroyed all the robots in the bumper boats, come back and see me. Here is your reward. Try not to destroy any more of the pier, will you? Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! Thanks for your help, SpongeBob! You know, we should talk about personal gym training sometime. I thought the gym was already trained! Hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Not thinking. Not thinking. Not thinking. Hurry up, I've got big plans to proceed with. This is a Bikini Bottom News update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. Remember to press this button. I won't forget, Bubble Buddy. I absorb information like a sponge. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. So. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Alrighty then, come back when you're ready to trade. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! <laughs> Daddy, your tree dome is leaking! Them their robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. All righty then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Howdy there, Mrs. Pup. Hello, Sandy. Say, uh, if you see SpongeBob, send him my way. I've got something for him to do. Oh, SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. You don't quite have them all, SpongeBob. Keep looking. There's more out there. I gotta say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. So, uh, can you give me a hint on how to get to the museum? I would if I could, my little square friend. Hey there, Barnacle Boy. 
say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Barnacle boy! Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Hey, hey, hey. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. What are you waiting for, kid? Get in there! Well, what do you know? You pulled it off. Congratulations, kid. Now, if I could only find my dentures. That wasn't so hard, was it? I think it's time for a victory screech. Howdy, Bubble Buddy. Nice artificial bubble on your head there. Hey, Gary. You're on an awful long walk, aren't you? Meow. The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary, I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Meow. That's a good one, Gary. Meow. Say, that's a good idea, Gary. I'll try that. I've got my eye on yours, Plankton. SpongeBob, I command you to bring Sandy to me for this next job. Plankton, you best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense, I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Vermit. You okay? You look kind of green. Fire the lasers! Hurt so much to be helpful! Need hatred soon. Oh, soon. Nothing a little southern elbow grease can't handle. Now go step in front of the lasers. Nice trash, Rimp. Repeat after me. Plankton is my master. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well. I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Nice job, SpongeBob. That was some fancy sliding. Thanks. I guess all that pant wax I bought has finally paid off. Ahoy there, Sandy! Morning to you, Mr. Krabs. Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. I'm ready for driving school to start up again, after all these robots are gone. Hmm. Maybe these robots aren't so bad after all. Hello there, Sandy. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? 
Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast. Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system! It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments! Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Go see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. Hi, Squidward. Go away, Patrick. I'm waiting for SpongeBob. I can't believe I just said that. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Ah, uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode! I mean, they tend to explode! Is the television fixed yet? All you have to do is throw one throw fruit into each of those funnel machines! You did it! Now I can get some sleep! Man Ray! Hey, I know you! You're that guy!
destroy. Hmm. Gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. You need to turn all eight cylinders around to the power side. Throw something at a cylinder to spin it around. Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Now, how to get some bath salts? In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! SpongeBob, press all of the security override buttons throughout the Mermelair. Then return here and press the master shutdown button. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Ow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Ow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. No time to talk, Gary. I'm on an important mission for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ow. Look, boy. There's gold under that glass. Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. In order for the ball to reach the end, you'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track. SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. All you have to do now is press the master shutdown button. You should go help Mermaid Man. He's in the villain containment area. Hello, Mermelair computer. There's still plenty of robots running around. Come back anytime. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. 
I'm gonna lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation! I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal. Get rid of those robots on the slopes, you barnacle head, and you'll find a golden spatula reward. Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Bungee off this hook for a prize. Keep up the good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Hello, Plankton. Oh, the mammal. Ow! You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. Ow! All the way up there? Well, there must be a way up. Ow! Don't worry, little critter. I'll find a way up there. There's nothing a land critter can't handle. Ow! Hi, Gary. I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. I've gone down this hill a hundred times. If you can beat my time, I'll give you a golden spatula. I've gone down this hill a hundred times. I think I've mastered it. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Congratulations! You passed with flying colors. Well, if it isn't my uh, favorite student. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. I fly like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. I'm slick and fast. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Told you I'm slick and fast. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! Nice shine on those shoes! Hey there, Sandy! Howdy, Bubble Buddy! I'm built for speed with this aerodynamic physique. But I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. I'm the fastest there is! My time down this slope is unbeatable! I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. I'm the fastest there is! My time down this slope is unbeatable! I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry! Hey, Sandy! Howdy, Larry! Oh, thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the worm now! Howdy, Squidward! Why can't I just have a day off? I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. 
Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob! I'm sure that my robots out there have some! <laughs> hey, you call them your robots. No! I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe. But I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. Maybe this day won't be mine. Or the next, or possibly even the next, or 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 the next after that. But the one after the next, after the next, after the next, after that. Well, that one after that, right next to that one, that will be my day. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absopositivalutely, SpongeBob! Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Say, Bubble Buddy, why am I having to pay all these golden spatulas to these toll booths? Because, SpongeBob. Well, can't argue with that. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hootlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse, they've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! No more fry cooking for you until the Krusty Krab is robot free! Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Alrighty then. Come back when you're ready to trade. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. May I help you? Hello, sir, may I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. What would you like to see today, sir? Yes, sir. 
What if I want to watch a movie I haven't seen? Like, could I see Death Fish 2000? Sorry, sir. What about Carp Wars? No. Nautical Nonsense 23, The Procrastination. Uh, sir, I'm on break now. Oh, okay. Hello, lady. Hi, Patrick. Uh, have you seen SpongeBob? If you see him, let him know I'm looking for him. Sure thing, lady. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pup. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. Hello again, Mrs. Puff. Good job so far, SpongeBob, but no time to rest now. Let's round these students, uh, campers up before it gets too dark. Okay, Mrs. Puff. I'll keep looking. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there! I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, I haven't got all three tiggies yet, Mr. Krabs. I'm sure you'll find them, son. But time is money, so stop wasting me money! Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one, you are, Patrick. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Hello there, Barnacle Boy! Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, I need, uh, SpongeBob's help if you see him. Okie dokie! Hey, kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well then, you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. I don't have all my crystals yet. I hope you're still helping me find them. Yes, I am, Barnacle Boy. I'm doing my best. Okay, good to hear. <laughs> Uh, maybe you can get Patrick's help if you're having trouble. Barnacle Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> there. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. Hi again, Barnacle Boy. Uh, hey, kid. Anything I can help you with? No, just saying hi to one half of my favorite superhero duo. Gee, uh, that's great, kid, but uh, don't you have some robot thingy to get back to? Hey, it's the pink blobby guy. Hi, Mermaid Man. 
what are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Still haven't beaten my record yet. Perseverance is the key. But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster. Keep trying. Well, now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course flicked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, Mermaid Man. Any luck beating my time yet, Mermaid Man? Uh, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. Young people these days always talking rock and roll gibberish. Mermaid Man? Whoa! Ah, uh, is there evil about? Golden um, pudding! SpongeBob, there you are! Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? Definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff, I'll cherish it always. You're still here, Mrs. Puff? Oh, SpongeBob, I just feel like I'm all over the place these days. Well, have fun. See you at class. Hello there, Patrick. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yes. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it... Get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going! Have you done everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get aloft there and get those robots! Howdy, Mr. Dutchman, sir! Ha ha ha! You're a strange-looking sea monster! Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! Ay, 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 ay. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Whatever it is, the answer is no. It's like a tag team of tragedy. Howdy, Squidward! So much for peace and quiet. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Hey? Oh, sure is! Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. 
Once the power is off, we'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. You need to destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Remember, you have to align all the cannons on the Dutchman's ship so they will all fire together. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Ahoy there, Sandy. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs. Dream Bubbles. I'm surrounded by Dream Bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Ow! Ow! You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Ow! I'm ready! Ow! Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Golden spatula right after Patrick's rock. Gotcha. Meow. Well, I almost made it. Uh, where do I go again? Meow. Oh, yeah, right after Patrick's rock. Thanks. Wow, your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. There's only one way to that acorn. This sky slide. Hello, Plankton. That's what I need, a creature with a backbone. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? These swingers lead to something. <sighs> All this beautiful mayhem wasted on some brainless tin cans. Hello, Plankton. SpongeBob, my favorite and only lackey. Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. Hey, if you're not busy later, come work out at the gym in my dream bubble. Hey, Larry. What's happening, SpongeBob? For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy, or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. There's a spatula at the end of this long line of notes. You've got to get that spatula and end this cacophony. Good job! Now, let's hoist anchor and get out of here! You know, after a while it grows on you! I should play this as background music in the Krusty Krab! What do you think? Squidward, this is amazing! Amazingly awful, you mean! Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab! What a surprise! I can't escape work anywhere! Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! 
it's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! And this nightmare for crying out loud! Finally! Now we can leave! But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Crab! Excuse me! Mr. Crab! Patrick! You have a golden spatula! Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula! You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward. I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your re... You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary, uh, needs another bath. You want to leave now? Wow. I know it's my dream, but... I want you to stay. Aww. Aww, thanks, buddy. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. <laughs> Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. <laughs> Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. <laughs> Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. <laughs> Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Well, now if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. Now, where did I put it? So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again.
So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects! The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects! <laughs>